Hello YouTube and hello everyone who's got the link from Facebook or anywhere else. This is Game Link's Bolding. We haven't done a video for quite a while. I thought I'd do another shop tour because a lot's changed, including the sign as you might see. Uh, a lot more bigger, bolder sign. But a lot of people in Spalding still think we're not actually a shop. They don't actually know what we do. So look, this sign is definitely a shop. So we'll come in. A lot of people who haven't been for a while will see it, that the shop is vastly different. So, as we come round, we see a uh, Warhammer gaming board that we'll use for all the uh, types of uh, tabletop gaming. Uh, you see the arcade machines have gone, they just weren't getting played, so best of them out. Uh, the sofa's still here and we've got the testing station here now so anything that people want to try out before they buy will go here um, over here we've got DS games along the bottom and true to form someone comes in every time <laughs> uh, so yeah uh, DS at the bottom Game Boy stuff at the top uh, round to the Xbox stuff and PS3 stuff we've got quite a range of the top titles in at the moment with Hitman, Darksiders etc uh, down here with the PS2 games, lots of those we had more the other day but they seems to have got, got, gone a bit missing at the bottom there <laughs> Uh, down under the gaming tab we have we this side there and all the others I think now are not used at the moment no. um, PC games that we now do there under there over to here we've got the PS1 section and the Mega Drive section we do cartridge only now we've got some decent ones like separation anxiety there um, and snare stuff. Someone did come in the other day and buy a lot of the top titles that I had, like Metroid and Shadowrun. But still a fair selection there of box snare stuff. Master System section. There. Here we have some guides and the little Jaguar section on there because that's all I've got now. PSP there. Go up here to N64. And the NES stuff. The Saturn stuff, including a couple of American games and a Japanese game. Dreamcast stuff down there. Down to the old Atari stuff. Uh, Japanese Mega Drive games, Japanese um, PC Engine games, VIC-20, etc. PSP, Ghouls and Goblins. Um, right on the top, some consoles. Over to here. Blu-rays and DVDs, we've got quite a few of them. We've only just recently started stocking them, but we've already got quite a few. In the centre here, we've got our little merchandise, but with key rings, phone tags. Loose cartridges for Game Boy, for the N64 and for SNES. Uh, some box stuff at the top there. Original Xbox stuff a bit further down. GameCube stuff there. And boxed Amiga and old big box PC games there. Coming over to our uh, Warhammer section now. We've just got the paints in stock now. One of each one. Uh, as you can see we stock or mainly 40k but we do stock everything including fantasy and Lord of the Rings and the new Hobbit game that's just come out the single figures there and the codex is there don't want to look behind there it's a bit messy <laughs> and finally our glass cabinet now where uh, the things at the top have sold in the last couple of days so uh, we've got iPods, uh, mobile phones, Wii's, tablets and still a little bit of the retro stuff down at the bottom it was a lot, lot of a much quicker video than I've done in the past for tour. Um, just wanted to, sh yeah, quickly show. I didn't want to show anything in detail, but just showing exactly what we do in the shop now. And you know, because obviously it has changed since it was a solely video gaming shop. But yeah, um, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you.